best game a holiday yeah clean sock I guess well it's a rash good video and we gain a garlic I guess uh how me over the brown I can after I'm a video um and shocking shock I uh you've got me for ski I know excuse I like um hello and welcome back to the Gaelic videos for Ling Sock. I'm sorry that I didn't manage to get to making one that last week but hopefully this week will make up for it um before I start I have a Gaelic t-shirt on today it says Shar Gaelic Vrishtia na Berlach Listia es Gaelic Sachistia it's better to have broken Gaelic than clever English and Gaelic in a coffin that's language attitudes in action um anyway today me and my craft supplies are going to be talking to you about Dahan colors Dahan now the first thing I normally tell people in the lesson on colors is to basically forget everything you think you know about colors. but don't panic because I'm going to start with some of the colors that are closest to the way we think of colors in English this is do do it means black or dark in terms of describing people a do person would have dark hair and maybe tan skin the word do can also be used as an intensifier for example i might say how many do botchel owns molenia ur i'm very proud of my new shirts this is gyal gyal it's used in most of the ways you'd say it use white in English. You would describe snow or part of an egg or part of an eyeball as gyal. Um, it can be also used to say that something's pure. For example, um, gyal ishke, white water. It's not like rapidly moving water as it is in English. It means it's drinkable. It's not salty or dirty in any way. And the word for moon is gyalich. Gyalich, meaning white thing. Um, you don't use gyal to talk about people the way you'd use white in English, though. Um, the word for a very fair person is ban. So a ban person is likely to have blonde hair and fair skin. I suppose the closest translation into English of ban would be um, beige, or maybe even better, pale or light, because you can use it to describe other colours. For example, ban yarag, which is light red, is pink. We'll get to Jerag later though. The next colour on the list is Booya. Booya. Which can be anywhere from yellow to orange. It's used to describe things like the sun or the inside of an egg. Like the yellow part of the egg. Ruag can also be translated to orange uh, or red. But I think the best translation is probably Russet to get the closest concept in English. So Ruag refers to the colour of fur perhaps, certainly the hair colour of people, um, and probably the colour of dirt in Central Australia. That's Ruag. Ruag. And because um, people are very often described in terms of their appearance or who they're related to rather than by their clan name, um, a lot of people now have surnames which come from some of these words. So, for example, if someone's surname is Roy, then they probably had a red-headed ancestor, those might have been called Ian Ruai. Um, if someone's surname is Dao, then they probably had a dark-headed ancestor, Du. The other word in Gaelic which can be translated into English as red is Jadag, which I've previously mentioned. Jadag is usually a very bright red, perhaps even an artificial red, and it also covers shades of pink as well. Purpe is the royal colour, so it's purple, but also things like indigo and those really rich, dark, bluey, purpley royal colours. Gorham is gru, so both green and blue, but it's a bright colours of gru. Um, the sea is gorham, the sky is gorham, um, people's eyes can be gotham. That's the sort of thing gotham is used. Glass is light, light gotham, and also grey. So glass is used for maybe the sky or the sea on a bad day, 
and other pale colours like that. That doesn't just mean light blue, it means pale. Um, so it can be applied to a lot of things that you might not necessarily think of. For example, this. It's such a bright shade of green, surely it must be got him. It's not. It's glass. Why is it glass? Because it's pale compared to this, which is the colour it's going to become. So glass things are also things which have been or will be brighter. And in fact, glass is a general term for a lot of plants, greenery, and in fact, glass rechen, green thingies, is the word for vegetables. Down is brown. You'd pretty much use that in all the ways you'd use brown in English. Down. The two colours I apparently don't have sewing supplies for are um, uainya, uainya, which is dark like forest greens, really dark greens, and lia, lia, which is grey but in terms of hair colour. So if you're old and going grey then your hair is lia rather than gyal or glass. Well, Sinead, that's colours in Gaelic. Um, they're quite different colours in English. I don't need to tell you guys that colours can be quite different from language to language. Um, I think my housemates still don't believe me about garden and glass and how the light green kitchen sponge and the light blue kitchen sponge are more the same colour than the light blue and the dark blue. Um, but, well, I think that's pretty much it about colours. One last thing, though. Today is La the Gaelic, um, which is Gaelic language social media day. Um, so, La the Gaelic, so on the Happy La the Gaelic to everyone. Cheer in the